In today's video, we have a full showcase and guide on how to use Video Talk AI, the best AI video generator that I personally use to mass produce and automate YouTube shorts, long form content, TikToks, and pretty much any type of videos you guys can need to monetize and help grow your YouTube automation empire. Just so you guys know that I'm not some random preaching about stuff that I've not actually done myself. Here's a screenshot of one of my few YouTube channels that has grossed me over half a million dollars. I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years now, and that is why the information I'm about to share with how to use video talk to mass produce YouTube shorts and long form videos is genuinely some very good advice especially if you guys are trying to get into YouTube automation. So without further ado, let's get started. It is worth noting that Video Talk does have multiple different features. You can actually create UGC content, you can create 3D avatars, but for today, we are solely focusing on the AI video generator itself that actually automatically produces some very high quality YouTube shorts. So we're gonna come over here and click on the create new video and we're going to go create with AI. Now, once we're in this menu, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is either copy and paste a script that you want your YouTube short or long form video to follow or type out a prompt of the type of video generation you want Video Talk to actually create. And for the purposes of this video, I actually had ChatGPT write me a small script or a random short that talks about footy facts since that is one of the niches that I have knowledge and experience in. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. But of course, you guys can copy and paste any scripts or any text that you want your video to follow. Once you have your script pasted in here, from there, you're gonna go down and select the aspect ratio. If you guys are doing YouTube shorts like me, you're gonna go nine and 16 or vertical. If you're doing long form, you will do 16 by nine aspect ratio. Just know that it does cost a bit more credits since there is more video for this software to generate. Once you have the aspect ratio selected, we're gonna go over here to the duration. I like to personally do auto and just let it create based on the length of the script or prompt that you typed. But if you guys have a specific length that you want the video to meet, these are all of the options and obviously you can go all the way up to 10 minutes, which is great, especially if you guys are doing YouTube automation channels that's, that do extra long videos like AI stories where you might need up to like two hours of video footage for that video. And one of the coolest parts about video talk is the media style that it will actually use. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Flux Schnell, which is the cheapest and based one, just faster AI images with good quality. But if you guys have Google images, that are based on real life pictures you wanna use in the YouTube short or long form, you can select that. And as you can see, there is a bunch of different options that go all the way down to the GPT image high quality, which literally uses the video model from ChatGPT. So this is going to be the highest quality video generator, but you guys can see that it does cost the most credit. Now, once we have the media style selected, we can come down here to the video talk style, which is also going to help allow change and customize the type of art and look that the video generation will have. You guys can scroll through here and it really just depends again on personal preference and the type of branding you want your videos to follow. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to keep it very basic. I'm trying to show just how powerful video talk is without going too overboard. So we're gonna use the base video talk style. And once you have the art style selected, we can go down here and actually change what language the AI voice narration will follow. And this is a really cool feature because say you guys have a YouTube shorts channel that is in English that's absolutely crushing it. This allows you to literally drag in those English videos and just remake them in a bunch of different languages. And that seems to be a very popular trend these days with YouTube automation is finding channels that are killing it in one language and just basically recreating them in other languages to reach new viewers across the world. If we go down here, you could also select the voice style and depending on how realistic you want it to be, you can go down and there is tons of different ones. So you guys can really just listen to all these and see exactly what voice you wanna use. But just like the rest of these, we're gonna go with the default alloy voice, just so I can show you guys that with the cheapest credit video generation, it will still make a pretty banger YouTube short just with a few clicks. So now that we have the script ready, the aspect ratio, duration, media style and art style and the language and voice style selected, now from here, we literally just have to go to generate video and go ahead and click that. And it will actually open up one more prompt just to finalize and make sure that we are all good to go before it generates our YouTube short. So it's gonna double check and verify that your script is exactly as you want it. And it will also give you an approximate length based on this script 
if, of course, you guys didn't manually select the duration and length that you wanted the video to be. So this short is gonna be anywhere from 55 seconds to a minute and 12 seconds, depending on the voice that we selected, which is fine by me. So we can go ahead and click next. And then after it finalizes the script, it'll actually break down your script into 12 different prompts allowing it to generate 12 different images and videos for that YouTube short. And you guys can actually manually break these up and go through each one. And you can also manually put text on exactly what you want the image to be or the video to show for each of these prompts that again, break down your YouTube short script into 12 different sections, just so there is a ton of different images and movement within that video to keep viewer retention better. Go and create video, it's gonna cost 500 credits total. And from there, you literally just wait like 30 seconds to a minute while it generates your video. And after that, you guys will see that it will generate a beautiful YouTube short. And after it generates, I'm gonna show you guys how to customize and tune it up a bit to make it as good as possible possible so it's good to upload within a few minutes of starting this entire process. All right, so Video Talk has officially finished editing the video and before I show you guys how to alter the captions and add a little bit of motion and basically fine tune it up, I just want to show you guys the raw YouTube short that this created without any editing. This was literally just by putting a prompt and selecting a few different things within a few clicks and a few minutes. This is the YouTube short it generated, so let's give it a watch. I actually have not seen it yet myself. Did you know the World Cup has some of the craziest untold stories? Here's two that even die-hard football fans don't know. During the 1970 World Cup in Mexico, Brazil's team led by Pele was so legendary that local fans actually stole their team bus. It wasn't theft for profit, it was a prank to delay their departure after the tournament. The bus was returned completely unharmed but Mexican authorities kept the whole incident under wraps to avoid embarrassment. Even today, most football historians don't mention it. But that's not the craziest World Cup secret. The 1930 final between Uruguay and Argentina couldn't even agree on which ball to use. Their solution? They used Argentina's ball in the first half and Uruguay's in the second half. Yes. The first ever World Cup final was played with two completely different balls. Football's greatest tournament has secrets even the most passionate fans have never heard about. All right, so there we go. You guys can see that that is the base video that it actually generated for us. It literally put captions, images, and synchronized the voice. And if you guys couldn't tell, it also slightly altered the script I gave it to make it a bit more fluent since I did have two different footy facts combined into one. Now, the best part about Video Talk is you can easily upgrade and customize this YouTube short to make it a lot better within its own editing software. So you don't have to render this out and drag it into Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere Pro. You could literally do all of this in one place. And the first thing we are going to change here is the captions and subtitles that pop up themselves. All you have to do to alter and change this is click the captions on the editing timeline here and it will pop up all of these different options and basically different fonts that you can use and mess around with. Now I like to use yellow or one of the ones that are a bit more colorful just so they pop out and it doesn't really bleed into any of the images the AI generates. You guys can also come up here and just hand pick a custom color for it if you don't like any of these default fonts and colorways and you're also able to change the font size, make it a bit bigger, and change the vertical position. So I like to put mine a little bit down. You want it towards the center since that's where human eyes are naturally gravitated towards the most. But in some of these images that it actually generated, you guys can see here that some of the text might bleed into the background. So you're gonna wanna make sure you go through and just double check how the text looks throughout the entirety of the short. But you guys can see here that just by making it larger and yellow, it already pops out significantly better and makes the short better. And the next step to make this short better, especially when it comes to retention, is adding a bit of animation and movements to these images and videos that the AI actually generated. And to do that, all you have to do is come over here to the left side. It will show you all 12 images it generated for the short. And from here, you simply just have to click on one, go over to the top right where it says image shake and enable movement. So you guys can see here that just by putting on the image shake and doing nothing else, it already adds a bit of animation, which doesn't seem like much, but when it comes to YouTube shorts and the average attention span of most viewers, a little bit of movement is definitely worth it and will help increase your shorts or long form videos retention rate significantly. But there is also a few other ones. There is the TikTok one that kind of does this weird zoom and shake effect. And you're also able to change the intensity of this. So from my personal experience using this for quite some time now, 
I find that around 20 to 30 percent on the TikTok shake is probably your best bet. Combine that with the subtle movements and captions popping up. This makes the videos a lot better and just that slight animation definitely brings more life to it, which will help your retention on the video. If you guys are running YouTube shorts channels, no matter what niche you're in, that amount of volume, you are bound to find success, especially if you're using AI to automate the process and make it as quick as possible. So that is why I definitely recommend you guys check out Video Talk as one of the best alternative video AI generators out there. Of course, to some of the main ones like Google VO3 and Midjourney, which of course are a little bit better, but they are significantly more expensive. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, Video Talk also has a bunch of other awesome features that you guys can use in other ways to make money online, like UGC ads or creating AI avatars of yourself. They also have voice cloning, text to video, text to speech, link to video, and there are so many different ways you guys can utilize this tool to help mass produce YouTube automation content and make yourselves more money while spending less time doing it. And I personally use the basic route as I only use this to create a few YouTube shorts every single day, but depending on the volume and output you're looking for, you guys might wanna go the pro route. It is a bit more expensive, but it gives you way more credit to generate tons more videos or if you guys are doing this on a very large scale where you're uploading more than five to 10 shorts a day across multiple channels, then you might even wanna go the higher up ones as well. As it gets more expensive, it does allow you to generate more, but this tool is definitely worth it and it will definitely help you scale your YouTube automation business and create more banger content, which will in the end result in you guys making more money. So make sure to go check this out. I have been using this for many months now and multiple YouTube shorts channels I have that are monetized are solely made using video talk. It's that easy.